Welcome to update 2.8 of the Stream Deck Media plugin. This update is all about scripting, so if you don't use the script button, there are no changes for you in this update. First, I want to mention a change that might affect your existing scripts. Script commands will now be triggered by media commands sent from Stream Deck, not only by media commands received from your door as in the previous version. If you don't want your script to react on media commands sent from Stream Deck, you can add a config command to your script. And with that command in place, your script will only react to media commands sent from your door. There are some changes to the editor. One change is the predefined scripts dropdown with scripts supplied by users. And if you select one of those scripts, it will be copied to the script field. Once copied, you can do whatever you like, edit or use it as it is. There is no lingering relationship between the predefined script and what is now in the script field. If you have a script that you think could be interesting to other people, you could send it to me or publish it in the forum and I can add it to this dropdown. Another new feature is a syntax check. If I make some error, for instance, forget a square bracket, I will get an error message saying that the number of brackets doesn't match. While you are typing a script, the plugin does not check the script syntax in order not to spam you with error messages. There is a three second delay after the last keystroke before the plugin checks the script. This means that if I correct this problem, there will be a three second delay before the error message is removed. Let's move on to the main features of this update, which are multi-event commands, custom variables and event reference variables. Before going any further, let me stress that these new features are to be seen as experimental. They allow complex scripting and there is no way I can verify that it works as expected in all possible situations. Based on your feedback, things may change. If it turns out that what I think is expected behavior doesn't rhyme with your expectations. Let's start with multi-event commands, which of course are commands with multiple events. In the previous version, you could have a single event in a command, but in this version, you can have an unlimited number of events in a command. The basic principle is that when one of the events trigger the command, the plugin will check if the conditions of the other events are met. And the actions will be executed only if the conditions for all events are met. In this example, we have two events in the command, one press event and one control change event. And it works like this. When I press the button, the plugin will check if the latest received value for CC1 is in the range, and if it is, it will execute the text action. And when a value in range for CC1 is received, the plugin will check if the button is pressed, and if it is, it will execute the text action. If any of the conditions fail, the action is not executed. Now custom variables. A custom variable is a label box where you can store a value in the range 0 to 127. A custom variable is prefixed by an at character. So the at character tells the script engine that what follows is the name of a variable. You can set variable content with actions and you can trigger commands based on variable content in events, and you can reference variables in actions. 
When you reference variables, you need to enclose the reference with hash characters, just as when you use the value reference. Variables can be global or local. A variable name like this is global, and the same variable is accessed from all scripts, on all pages, in all profiles. If you prefix the name with local underscore, or L underscore for short, the variable is local and is accessible only in the script where it is defined. If multiple scripts have local variables with the same name, each script will have its own instance of the variable. Let's look at an example of how you can use multi-event commands and variables. On this button I have an init command that initializes whatever needs to be initialized and it displays the text hello. This init command will be run every time the profile with the button is loaded. So it will be run when Stream Deck starts or when you switch profile or page. And that may not be what you want. If I switch to another profile and switch back, the same init command will be run again. If you want the init command to be run only the first time the button is loaded, you can use multi-event commands and variables to do that. If we change the script to this one, we introduce a local variable named local is run. The first time the button is loaded, the content of that variable is zero. So the first command will be run since we are in the init phase and the variable content is zero. So we display the text hello, we initialize things, and we set the local variable to 1. The next time the button is loaded when we switch profile or page, the content of the local variable will be 1, so the second command will be run instead. In the second command you can do other things, or you can skip the second command altogether if you only want things to be initialized the first time the button is loaded. So if I change profile now to another, to an empty profile and switch back to this one, it will say hello again, indicating that it is the second command that is run this time. And finally, event reference variables. These are alternatives to the value reference where you can pinpoint exactly which value you want to reference. The variables have fixed names and are prefixed with event underscore or e underscore for short. The values are set when the plugin scans the events in the command and you can reference the values in your actions. You cannot use these variables in events, and you cannot set them in actions. You can only reference them as with the value reference. In this example, we have a control change event, and in the action we can reference the control number, the control value, or the channel. Please check the website documentation for more information about these new features.